Okay, in this session we're going to look how to create the drawing um, of this from our model. So we go down to plus and we create a drawing from this menu here. There we are, create drawing. Okay, so the first thing, you might not be looking at this, you might be looking at something that says ANSI A N M D N M, And we don't want ANSI because that's the American standards. What we want is ISO, international standards. So you go to ISO, let's select an A3 drawing border, and let's go from there. Right, so now that that's loaded up, um, we can choose uh, which part we want. So there's our part, and we'll pick that. That's the part that we're going to take the drawing from. Okay. Right. Okay. So it says here front. So let's have a look at front now. We've got part of the part of the art is of an engineering drawing. We've got to show everything as clearly as possible, so that somebody else can go and manufacture this part. So if we're looking at this part, what we're not seeing is that hole. And that hole's important. We need to we need to show that hole because we need to be able to inform somebody else about it. So we perhaps don't want to be looking at the front view. So let's go to here and let's go to the back. It might be that when, when you, you do you because the way you've done it, your front view shows that. And that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So we're gonna click there for the front view. Okay. Now you'll see here that this button is already on, and that's projected view. So we're gonna project a view sideways there, yeah. Let's see, just just to see, just show you how it works. Yeah. So we're imagining we're moving this this part around our piece of paper, uh, and then and then we're done with two views. So we're just going to still on projective view. We're going to select that view, and just pull that down to there. Okay, um, and that's that's where we're going there. Now. All we have to do now is put the dimensions on. So I'm, I'm not going to show you how to put all the dimensions on. You'll notice it's already taken care of making sure that hole uh, has that um, has, has that gap there, has that, that outer circle has that gap there, showing us it's a screw thread. Uh, and if we went to, uh, where is it? Hole call out there. Yeah, you'll see that shows us everything we need to know about that. Um, but then everything else is really just putting on dimensions. So you know we're picking, we're picking our points, and we're making it look tidy, and we're doing our dimensioning. Uh, previously, I showed you the chamfer dimension there, so we can see so you click that line and that line for your chamfer dimension. Uh, one, two, um, like that. Uh, the only other thing that you might be need to be aware of is uh, center lines, so two point center line. So we could snap to. Yeah, you see it snaps to the, the quadrants of the of the circle. Um, yeah, I'm just going to undo that for a second. Um, uh, and we go, go there again, because what we can do, yeah, it snaps to the midpoint there and the midpoint there, and then we can go from quadrant there to quadrant there. Okay, and that's that's the center lines for that done. Uh, just tap escape there. Um, show hidden lines. We'll show us the hidden detail there. Uh, and that's about it, really. Um, fill in the drawing border and you are done thank you very much